Hi, I'm Portra XO. I am an independent artist and researcher. I have been heavily sonically obsessed with space and time. Specifically over the last couple years, I've been researching and collaborating with data scientists such as databots and open source culture and coders from Pollination's .ai community and have also been doing my own personal experiments with open source resources. And I'm forever curious about what all of this means to us living in a data-driven society, the impact on me as an individual, as well as collective impact, um, the impact on society and our environment. And I am searching for the humanity between art, music, science, and technology through exploration and experimentation of how far I can take sounds and storytelling through lane space. My AI audiovisual piece, Plastic Skin, is the result of two artist residencies and one part of my AI audiovisual album, Wire. In 2020, I finished my artist residency at Factory Berlin and collaborated with CJ Carr from Databots, where we trained one hour of my singing vocals into their custom sample RNN model that generated 10 hours of new audio over two and a half days and it gave birth to a process we like to call neuro vocal duet that I've fallen in love with that basically allowed me to co-create lyrics and melodies with this AI version of my voice that was creepy, eerie, and also fascinating. The second residency was at BBA Gallery where I was able to have different types of performance captured in the gallery space and this video shows me performing in the gallery and then using that video as input for a text to video clip guided VQGAN open source model provided on pollinations.ai. And that allowed me to further tell the story of the meaning behind this song through text prompts. And there were two different experiments that were basically blended into one that you see in this video. There were several types of technology used to produce this work. First step was to gather one hour of my vocals, which I took from over 200 songs that I wrote in a year and took the best from that. And for that to happen, I used Ableton, which is my go-to recording software. The second was custom sample RNN model by Databots, which was the way we got this raw audio AI generation of my voice. And the second piece of technology was provided by pollinations.ai, which is the text to video clip guided VQGAN model. The aspect of this piece that maybe gives insight into our possible future relationship with technology is in the storytelling. The song itself is written in the perspective of the robot singing to its human creator who created the robot to try and fulfill all its desires and needs, including love. And the robot basically is trying to point out to the human that based on the data and analytics, the result is inconclusive because human behavior with love is far too erratic. And I genuinely think that AI will not become sentient. AI is not sentient, but AI can possibly make humans more sentient. And I do think that human-machine collaboration used with AI in this way can offer a whole new level of intimacy in the way we work as creatives. I think the next 20 years of human-machine collaboration is going to get really fascinating, full of surprises. 
At the same time, I think that there will be some aspects that will naturally get faster and better, like audiovisual fidelity. And I think it's really crucial and important for more humans to get into the narrative of AI and understand its impact on us because humans can save humans, machines cannot save humans, but humans working with machines in particular ways can maybe save humans.